Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Mushkin PC, or as they're calling it, XP 4000 Redline Dual Channel Memory. The speed on this memory is 500MHz DDR or PC4000 and has a CES of 2. The complete timing on this memory is 2, 2, 2 and 6. Now what does DDR and CES mean? DDR stands for Double Data Rate and that means it doubles the bandwidth of the memory by transferring data twice as fast on both the rising and the falling of the clock cycle. CES stands for Column Access Select or Column Access Strobe and that essentially means the number of cycles for the memory to get information and then process that information. Also keep in mind that a lower CES is much better than a higher CES. For example, a CES of 2 will result in better memory performance than 2.5 or 3. So try and keep the CES as low as possible when overclocking. This memory is also dual channel, which means better overall memory bandwidth resulting in superior performance. But in order to benefit from this technology, you will need to have a dual channel motherboard. Non-dual channel motherboards do not have two fully independent 64-bit memory controllers, but dual channel boards do, which means they have a 128-bit memory interface. Now this memory will work in a non-dual channel motherboard, but the overall performance will be much less at the same megahertz. This 184-pin DIMM unbuffered memory comes in modules of 512 megabytes each, totaling 1 gigabyte in size and the default voltage is 3.3 to 3.4 although it can go all the way up to 3.5. Now with the extreme speed and voltage of this memory you need to have active cooling. That means a fan on top of the memory to ensure stability and long life. Also this memory is really designed for use in the DFI LAN party Enforce 4 series of motherboards. Those motherboards have some amazing voltage options for the memory and also all kinds of memory tweaking options that are not available in most other motherboards. This memory is aptly named Redline because it performs extremely well and is highly overclockable, also reliable and stable. Now this memory can be used in other motherboards outside of the DFI and Force 4 boards, but it is again designed specifically for best performance in the DFI and Force 4 series of motherboards. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgamatman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please help support 3dgamatman.com. Until next time, take care.